Peter Purge paints permits. Every fish I paint starts with pen and ink drawing. And I usually mix it with spray paint for some texture. Before I start working on a bigger painting, I always do some studies. I start sketching out the fish in charcoal. I add the first layers of color with spray paint and start doing the outlines with brushed acrylic ink. And of course the devil is in the detail. Never enough detail. While the paint dries, I work on some other smaller projects. To create a scaly effect, I cut a small stencil and apply it to the underlying painting. Usually I hand paint the scales. While cutting this stencil, I got the idea to work on another little project. I'm really good at keeping myself busy. With painting fish, that is. Okay, back to painting. After adding the last details, the devil is in the details, remember, I start cutting out the fish with an exacto knife. Nothing goes to waste, the last bits I use for stencils. While working on the bigger fish, I produced about 5 to 7 smaller pieces on the side. That'll do, Purge, that'll do. Because it's contour cut, it's easily mountable on any smooth surface. It has a lot of nice painterly details and it will look like it's painted on your own wall. If you are interested in getting this fish while well, you're lucky, I'm offering this one up for auction on Floggy and I will leave a link in the description of this video and on my website. Goodbye and tell me what fish should I paint next?